11th of August this month, three days after the August 9th general election at around 9.45 a.m., IBC returning officer Daniel Mbolo Musioka was alleged to have gone missing in unclear circumstances at the East African School of Aviation Talent Center in Mbakasi East constituency. According to human rights activists, cases of IBC officers going missing during election period is worrying. Uh, Daniel Musioka was an official of IBC and as you heard uh, from Chebukati, he went missing while on official duty. And uh, again, just as we've said, this is not the first time uh, we are seeing uh, mysterious disappearances of uh, election officials. Uh, a few years ago, five years ago exactly, we saw how uh, Msando uh, disappeared the same way and his body was later found, uh, you know, uh, dumped in a thicket. Uh, it's very unfortunate that again, this time round, we are seeing the same scenario. On her part, Mbolu's family, led by her big sister, Mary Mukali, noted that they were informed that a body was found by herders near the Kilombero forest and they rushed to confirm the body of their loved one. They're now pleading with the government to intervene so as to bring the culprits to book. <laughs> According to Hussein Khalid, they managed to talk with the family members where he insisted that the body of the late Mbolu body is currently at the Oloi Tok Tok sub-county mortuary and it will be transferred to Machako's mortuary waiting for autopsy. So we've been in touch with the authorities, we've been in touch with uh, some members of the family mm -hmm. and uh, information we have is that uh, the body which is currently uh, uh, being kept at the uh, sub-county hospital in Oloi Tok Tok will be transported, will be transferred to Machakos Mochari, where it will also be preserved until further notice. Uh, we've gotten in touch with the relevant authorities. We want uh, to ensure a proper autopsy is uh, undertaken to confirm the cause of death. On their part, the Law Society of Kenya, LSK, have condemned the act, noting that they will not rest until they unveil what transpired until Molo's demise. We wish, on behalf of the Law Society of Kenya and its members, to extend our heartfelt condolences to the family and friends of the late Daniel Mbolu Musioka and assure them that the Law Society of Kenya will follow up on the investigations to ensure full accountability for this senseless and heinous death. According to Oloi Tok Tok Sub-County Police Commander Shadra Kipruto, police received reports of an identified badly mutilated male body dumped in the river, adding that investigation have already commenced to determine who and why was Mbolu murdered. <laughs> na tuko na timu ya ambao wana wanafuatilia hiyo kesi eh kuanzia disi yao na tunafanya kila juhudi ili kutupate eh, kufanikiwa tujue ni nini ilimsababisha ama nini ilisababisha yeye akawawa Khalid called on all security personnel to ensure the safety of Kenyans, adding that no one deserves to disappear and later found dead mysteriously. We want to call on the authorities um, to safeguard the lives of Kenyans. It is very wrong 
for election officials, for any Kenyan, you know, to disappear and later be found dead in this manner. Uh, we are following up this matter very closely as we speak. We are we are on our way um, to to that uh, to Loi Tok Tok, so as to also help in terms of investigations and uh, unraveling what happened. We are also asking on the police to speed up investigations. We know that uh, the DCI uh, detectives are already on the ground. They visited the scene where the body was found and uh, we are hoping that uh, they will be able to confirm what truly transpired that led to his death. This is not the first time an IBC officer disappears and later found dead. Since five years ago, the same script was witnessed where Chris Musando went missing and later found dead in a thicket. Reporting for Ibru TV, my name is Winnie Maganga.